Hi there, hope everyone having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Apologies, I could have done this video a while ago. I really need to let things settle for a while. But today I'm ready to talk about the Li Ning Yu Shui 18. So like I always say, when it comes to these Chinese brand hoop shoes, price does vary depending on your location. Uh, this pink Valentine's Day colorway was a launch colorway. I got these from China about a few months ago when they first released. Paid about 150 bucks USD. This pair might go for a little bit more now, but in some cases you might be able to find some nasty sales later on, like I did with the Ushuai 17 low. I'll put kicksown.com's link in the description if you're interested. They've been my go-to site for a lot of these shoes from Li Ning, Anta, and other Chinese brands. For the Yushuai 18, the low top version has just released by the way. I saw it in store during my recent trip there. That'll be interesting. And for the regular version, there's a huge variety of different colors that you can go for. Some really clean designs. Anyways, I'll tell you right now, this is another one of those shoes that changed a lot compared to how they wore in the very beginning. So let's just start from there this time. Performance-wise, at first, this shoe felt stiff. Stiff because of the relatively cheap material, not because of the cushion. I mean, the cushion setup is a delicious one with full length boom. The midsole is very bouncy, actually. You get safe landings to go with a nice push on feet. Like, it's pretty stacked up underneath. But yeah, this upper felt really plasticky. No softness whatsoever in the toe box area. I even felt pinching near the exterior of my forefoot on both shoes. That only lasted about 20 to 30 minutes, however, if I remember correctly. Once I started playing in them, the discomfort quickly went away and I couldn't notice anything as such as of now. Because it is thin, breathability gets a pass. Fairly lightweight shoe, coming in at 390 grams for my US size 10 and a half pair. Trash and now this aspect was great from the start. I never really had any issues with the grip on clean or dusty quartz. On clean quartz, this also stayed immaculate. Dusty quartz, it was slightly worse off, but because of the minimal dust pickup, it remains to be squeaky and promising. Consistent hard stops, for sure. This is their GCU also, by the way. So same type of setup as the Wave 11. That should give you a good sense of how safe it is. I still haven't used these outdoors, but based on how the rubber feels in hand, it should be a durable one against rough core conditions. I wore my Wild 11 outdoors in China for a good month, and it's still holding up fine. With the fit, nothing too special here. I just went true to size. And for most people, you can go with your normal size in most other sneakers. Width is about average. It's not too tight or narrow, but like I said, you just have to break them in a little bit at first. Give it a good solid few hours. After a couple of long sessions, trust me, you'll have a totally different feeling as things loosen up and the way it transitions as I roll my feet around, that felt really smooth too. And with that said, it's still a pretty rigid upper. So stability and lateral containment, these are decent too, especially with additional TPU wrapping up the heel. Ankle support is about average. Interior padding really sucks to be honest. It's really minimal back there, nothing plush to it, but that's really all you need to be aware of. If you look at this shoe on paper, the setup features all their premium stuff. GCU, SAS, Boom. SAS refers to that bridge-like system, by the way. Kind of a gimmick. Core feel in general reminds me a little bit of the Adidas Down Issue 6 and Crazy BYW from back in the days. I just found it a little sad that the Yu Shui line used to be their most popular line that holds the highest standard. It's really been overshadowed by the Li Rens recently. I mean, the Li Rens are amazing. These might not be so popular anymore, but if you only care about good performance, food is food, right? Overall, my conclusion is that the Yu Shui 18 is an excellent performer. Traction and cushion have always been good for me. Material was shit at first, but I was able to break them in fairly quickly. Uh, once you get used to it, there was no pinching or any type of discomfort. My movements felt smooth, and this is a lightweight, high top, 
great looking shoe that I would strongly recommend. I guess it all comes down to the price factor because performance is top notch. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the Yushuai 18 down in the comments. If you've been playing in these, let me know if you had a similar or different experience. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon on the next one.